You know, for a game called Darkest Dungeon, it's awfully light out here today. Gotta say. Not that I'm complaining. All right, so I've done a few things to set up for the next dungeon. So first off, I think I already mentioned it. I did take the, I did take one of the two high women. I've gone ahead and set up the, these three characters with stress healing. So we've got uh, Dismas is drinking, our plague doctor is gambling, and our Vestal is uh, enjoying the pleasures of the flesh. Also, I've sent a couple people in to get some quirks removed. I know that the man at arms is one of them. I think I got rid I'm trying to get rid of, uh, I forget what, but uh, I also sent in, I believe one of my Vestals has, uh, she had slow draw, so I'm gonna get ahead, going to go ahead and get rid of that. Actually, while I'm here, I forgot about this. I do need to get rid of this disease that this leper has. Let's go ahead and do that. I figure I might as well do it. And unfortunately, the caretaker is in the transept, so I can't stress heal uh, Reynald right now, unfortunately, because he will only pray for stress relief because of this God-fearing quirk that he has. So I can't stress heal him now. That's okay. We'll deal with it. Uh, and that's pretty much all I've done. That's not true. I think I upgraded a couple of these moves. I didn't do much with these move sets because I think for the most part they're actually decent. I did upgrade uh, word reconstruction on my occultist and that's pretty much all I've done. So now I actually have to decide on trinkets real quick before we dive in. So let's see. Do I have... I forget if I got rid of the... I think I did. I think I had a uh, Hellion specific trinket but I think I got rid of it. That's okay. We'll be fine. I, th I hope, th I hope. Uh, let's see, what would be most beneficial for her? Protection stone, maybe. Uh, Book of intuition. Wait, oh, these aren't organized. Sorry, let me, let me, let me reorganize this class restrictions. There we go. Now that's, now that makes a little bit more sense. Okay, I could give her the protection, the heavy boots, but I don't know if I need to do that. Range skill, she doesn't have any. Uh, plus five dodge, minus five crit. I don't really want to give her that. Minus 25, 25% scouting chance. Um, hold on, two seconds. You do that. There, no, no. Oh, okay, I was hitting the wrong key. Okay, all right. Uh, let's see. What was that for? Shield breaker. Oh, okay. So let's see here. Nope, I keep hitting the wrong, wrong way there. Oh yeah, I can actually give some things to my grave robber. So let's see, 20% damage versus blighted. Unfortunately, I don't have, uh, I could have given her poison darts. I think it was, your, was one of her attacks. So instead, let's just give her plus four speed. <laughs> Why not, right? Oh, okay. Didn't know I could only put one of a single kind of trinket. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. I could just counteract that and give her the, uh, the protection. You know, I'm gonna do that. Let's do that. She's already pretty fast, so let's go ahead and give her that. Uh, occultist, don't I have an occultist specific thing? Was like damage versus Eldritch. And yeah, let's see, plus four speed of torches below 60, plus 25% damage of torches below 60, plus 25% bleed skill chance, oh, minus 25% bleed skill chance, minus 10% max HP. I'm gonna give this to him just because of the plus 15 dodge chance. That's freaking, a whoa, whoa, does that lower his HP? Oh, minus 10% max HP. I should upgrade his HP now that I think about it. I should upgrade his armor, I should say. Or, wait. So he doesn't get the plus 15 dodge. Hold on. Wait. No, he doesn't. Is that... Is that only if there's, like, a certain... Okay, never mind then. I guess I won't be using that one. Let's give him... I don't think that there are any Eldritch creatures in... Or there aren't many Eldritch creatures in the Warrens, but I'm going to go ahead and try it anyway. Let's give him... Why does he have such a low dodge chance? Why does it happen? Minus five town. Okay. Uh, let's just give him the accuracy buff, just so he has it. Uh, let's see. I gave you those things. Let's see. Uh, high women, what should I give? I should actually give, well, no, he doesn't have, he's not using too many range skills, so not gonna worry too much about that. Uh, let's see. 
Slippery boots, give him the extra dodge chance, maybe. Uh, I don't know what to do here. Uh, let's give him let's give him the protection stone, so he has at least a little bit of damage reduction. And I don't want to lower his speed too much. So I guess we can give him the slippery boots, up his dodge chance a bit. And let's see, what do I want to give the Hellion? I didn't want to spend very much time doing this, unfortunately, but here we are. Also, I need to give him, I think, a couple. I don't really need any of that stuff. Blight resist? What's her blight? Eh, minus two dodge. I don't really know if I want to do that. Let's give her the book of intuition. And I guess that's it. I don't really want to give him to go give. I don't want to load them with too much stuff. I was going to do something. I don't remember what it was. Hold on. I was either going to give somebody an attack or, oh, I was going to upgrade the, uh, the occultist's, uh, armor. That's what it was. I think that's going to be worth it. Oh, does he have armor tinker or did I lower the cost? I lower the cost a bunch or that seems low. Does he have armor tinker? Oh, he totally does. Nice. Okay. That'll help him out a little bit. I'll at least get a few more HP. We get that extra dodge chance. Okay. Now we're good to go. Relatively. So I'm going to go into the Warrens because I don't want to send them off to die. So I think, and this one gets me busts and another Eldritch Killing Incense, which I can just sell off for money. So that's cool. So we actually have a little bit of money in reserve now, which is, it just, it feels so good. Okay. Let's go. Uh, so we need... Eight food's probably enough. We're going to grab a little bit more just in case. Two shovels. Oops. The Grave Robber comes with a shovel. I forgot about that. Uh, let's see. Three anti-venoms. Three of those. Three of those. Two keys is probably enough. And I have eight vials of blood. Cool. Also, I noticed that one of the things that popped up, I think this is probably enough stuff. This is more than enough. This is a short dungeon. I think we'll be okay. I say that, and I really hope that we're going to be okay. Uh, I noticed that one of the things that popped up when we were talking about my characters was that the Arbalist, I guess she just drank a vial of blood, to her, so her thirst was slaked. So I guess that means that if uh, if I don't give them a vial of blood when they're in a dungeon, they just drink some of the blood that is uh, currently in reserve, I guess. I didn't actually pay attention to see how many vials of blood I had before this week. Uh, I could actually just go back and watch the video again. But, you know, that would require effort. Okay, so 90% of rooms we basically have a big old square with one little tiny offshoot here. So I can, basically all I have to do here is I can just go in, go in a square and not, I can ignore that offshoot if I want to. Unless I get, I didn't actually look at their positive or negative quirks. I didn't look to see if any of them have any issues with um, nocturnal. Okay, well then. That was a mistake on my part. Wow, I didn't realize. I keep forgetting how fast the grave robber is. Okay. Uh, Fear of Unholy. Okay. That's bad. Okay. We're just going to go. I'm just going to go like in, in, a, in, a, in a westerly direction. And then we'll just see what happens, I guess. I have... Uh, okay. I was going to say something, but I totally forgot what it was. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. So... Hmm. Do I go for the... I don't think Abyssal Artillery is worth it because I don't think it's just going to do enough damage. So I'm actually going to do a Weakening Curse because I, ha I don't think I ever used the Occultist for anything other than Weakening. So I think let's do that. Weaken at least one of these. So... Oh, good. I didn't actually look, I didn't actually look to see what their debuff resist was. Just so they're not quite so strong. I think that's probably for the best. And let's see. Uh, I'm going to try to take this thing out. Okay, then. So much for my brilliant plan. All right. Good. Actually glad that I, uh... Whew. Glad that I did that weakening curse on the one that attacked my Grave Robber. So Grave Robber is kind of interesting, especially this build for the Grave Robber, because she has a couple of interesting moves. So we have Lunge, which can do a whole bunch of damage. Uh, does extra damage versus Blighted Creatures, but I don't have any, so it's fine. And then she also has a move called Shadow Fade, which I'll show off a little bit later. And I just realized that, um, oh, right, this is, was this the next turn? I guess it was. Oh, well, whatever. No, it isn't. Okay, I'm, 
I don't know what to say anymore. Sorry, I'm just, I'm lost right now. Uh, okay, so let's just go ahead. Let's just go ahead and attack with these cool, good hit right there. I like it. So now I'm going to try Shadow Fade because I've never, because they changed it up a lot. So she got stealth and some buffs to her damage, which is kind of cool. Let's do a weakening curse on this thing. Good. Okay, so he's going to be marked, right? No. That's fine. He resisted the debuff. That's fine with me. Uh, not as good of a hit, but that's okay. This thing's going to die eventually. Uh, I want to try... No, I don't want to try Duelist Advance because... Um, because... I have there are two corpses there. It's not gonna be very beneficial. So uh let's see. I don't have a way to pull this thing forward. I wish I had the demon's pull ability for my cultist, but I don't. So um Is anyone injured? Not really, too badly. Let's just do a weakening no, let's do a vulnerability hex on this guy so he has a lower dodge chance. Oh well that marks him too, okay. Nice, we somehow dodged the sounds of drums. I don't know how that works, but apparently it does. Not gonna complain. Ooh, nice. Okay, that worked out better than I expected. Okay, we got a little bit of stuff. I'm okay with that. And what do we have here? A backpack with things. Wow, lots of things actually. I might actually, well, I'm not even gonna say anything. I was gonna say, I might be able to take a journal page with me. No guarantees of that happening. Okay. Hey, we got a scout. All right. Nothing in... No, no fights, at least. Okay. Sure. I do need more heirlooms, specifically busts. If you can provide me with busts, which you didn't, that's okay, though. That's okay. I'm not going to judge you, game. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, buddy. It's all right. It's all good. Okay. Cool. There's a fight. All right, let's see, we're at 76 light. I'll use the torch now. As the light gains purchase, so we are prepared for this fight we're against spiders. Oh boy, oh good, we got this. So glad we got the surprise. Okay. Mm, I think it's fine to just do a pick to the face. Okay, that didn't do as much damage as I hoped it would. All right. Um, vulnerability hex, uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Weakening curse. Why not, right? Uh, oof. I don't really want to. Okay, I regret not doing. Oh, breakthrough doesn't work in the. Damn, I was I was gonna do the. I was gonna do the breakthrough thing because that hits three rows, I think. But. Uh, yeah. We we missed. Uh, okay. Okay, all right, okay. Still taking a lot of damage there. Oh boy. Not liking this at all. Game. Okay, you can stop now. She's gonna die. She's gonna die before I have a chance to do anything for her. Oh my god. Thankfully, she has a really high blight resist because otherwise she might be very close to dead right now. All right. Toxin trickery, right? Cures blight, might as well, right? They also, um, they weakened that move because you used to be able to do it like over and over and over again, like as many times as you wanted. Now it's like a couple times per battle. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Come on. Okay, enough of the dodges and misses. Should have been using vulnerability hex or what? Please don't. Okay. Okay, all right. Okay, please. Okay, okay, please. Can I? Can I heal her? There we go. At least we got a hit on those things. Fine. Can I heal her, please? Please heal for more than one this time. That's... Okay, technically that's more than one. But that's not helpful, game. <laughs> Can I please? Thank you. All right. That didn't go super great. Okay, you... Uh, was she blighted or bleeding? She's bleeding, right? Yeah, okay, let's get a bandage. Okay. Have a couple food also. And it's not going to be much, but you know what? 
right now every little bit helps okay so we actually have two oh actually grave robber is better at trap disarming than highwayman that makes sense okay i'm going to risk going ahead and having the grave robber disarm this trap even though it could cause a lot of damage to her okay good we got it Whew. all right and books i want to risk the books who's the lowest amount of stress occultist you read the books no oh all right then I thought it said it was an uns unsettling passage, but maybe it was uninteresting. I must have just misread that. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Everything's cool. Oh, wow. Light went way down. Cool. What do we have this way? There's a wall. There are two fights in this next area. All right. Uh, I want to see what the curio is. Rack of blades. If they don't touch this, fine. Good. I shouldn't be using more banded. Wait, did I? Oh, it's a dinner cart. Durr! I'm stupid. I should have actually... I'm sorry. For some reason, my eyes saw a rack of blades there. I was completely wrong, obviously. Okay, that's a lot of food that I don't have space for. But on the plus side, I can force a bunch of food down everyone else's throats. I think... There's the, no, she won't eat anymore. Okay. At least I can force some food down other people's throats so they can heal up a bit. No, oh, you, did you not get hit yet? It looked like it looked like her HP was down, but I guess not. Okay, well, that was kind of a waste. Come on, can we go in? Can we go in? Thank you. I don't want to waste a shovel on the door. I know that it, I know that I could very easily just go here, uh, but I don't want to. It's you know I can I can just as easily just clear out the rest of these rooms. Uh, okay, game. I know we don't like each other sometimes, but could you please? Since we're going to need some sort of healing on my grave robber, could you possibly? I know this is asking a lot, but could you possibly uh, entertain the opportunity when it gets to the occultist's turn to heal for more than two? Please, game. I try not to ask for much. I try. Okay, so I'm keeping her in the third row. I'm not going to have... Game, what did I just ask? I really try not to ask for much. But when you're only going to have my occultist heal for one damage, we're going to have a problem. Damn. All right. I don't want to use my last. I shouldn't have a tell. Oh, I didn't have a choice there. Okay, that's fine. So that's cool because we get to do a repost. Unfortunately, he's bleeding for a lot right now. Uh, uh, you know what? I just, I need to waste a turn. No, you know what? No, screw that. Let's not waste a turn. Let's destroy the corpse. Because I want to show off point blank shot. If I can ever get my... Please? Thank you. Seriously, I really try not to ask for much, but man. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that anymore. Let's just hit him for lots of damage. That wicked slice does it. I mean, a wicked amount of damage. Probably should have tried to stall for one more turn, but no, we're done. We're done. It's fine. Oh, there is another fight coming up very soon. Okay. Grab that sack. And cool. 100 gold. All right. How badly are people doing? Wow, he is low on HP. He didn't have a lot to begin with, but... Eesh. Okay. So probably going to need to heal up uh, Highwaymen during this battle. Okay. This is going to be a rough fight. I can already tell you, this is going to be a rough fight. Oh, I forgot that Iron Swan. This is one of my favorite moves because it's a melee attack that hits the back row. Those like never happen. Please hit this thing. Okay, well, you hit, but you didn't kill it. I should have specified, please kill this thing because, yeah. Okay, please. All right, that's a decent heal. 
It's a pretty decent heal. Uh, okay. That's all right. That's less all right. Well, she resisted the move. Oh, because she has the heavy boots, I think. I forgot to show you the trinkets that I gave everyone. Sorry. My bad. Should have done that. Uh, oof. I don't want to do a duelist advance because I have a feeling he'll die if I do that. So let's just kill this thing off. They don't do much damage, but just the stress. This is going to hurt a lot. Oh, God. All right. Wow. Again. Hey, hey, why are you going before everybody? That makes no sense. You have you have three speed. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, fine. Hi, hi, uh, no, hi women. Helly and I kind of understand him going before. Four speed. Six speed. Six speed. How? I know that these are all random rolls as far as speed is concerned. But come on, man. Come on. You gotta be kidding me with that. It's ridiculous. Okay. Fine. I don't want to put her in the second row or the front row, I should say. Picture the face should have... Should be doing more damage than that. I'm going to risk this. I shouldn't, but I'm going to. Well, at least I did some damage there. That's not too bad. Okay. Where is he at? 23. You're fine. <sighs> Word reconstruction can heal for up to 15 damage, by the way. I'd like to just point that out. Okay. At least we got rid of that thing. Now I need to get rid of this guy, because he's going to potentially deal a whole bunch of damage, if I'm not careful. Okay. Mm. I guess we'll pick this guy in the... F or I could just try to destroy a corpse and get him a little bit closer. Can't even destroy a corpse. Okay, please. Thank you. All I, That's all I'm asking for. I don't ask for much, game. Just, you know, help me out here. I shouldn't be destroying corpses, I know. I'm basically just stalling while I can do that. He resisted the move. You jerk. Stop targeting her, dude. Man, this guy just has it out for the grave robber. What is up with him? Get out of here. Not cool. Okay, uh, weakening curse. Let's do that to him. I'll take a crit. That's fine with me. Weaken him so he doesn't do so much freaking damage. Whew, okay. That's also good. Uh, just keep destroying those corpses or not. Okay, well, that's fine too. Alrighty. Oh. Okay. Uh, ah, yeah, alright. Okay, good. I want to take that jade. Let's see. What can I get rid of here? I don't know where I got an extra... Wait, how many torches do I have? Oh, my torches are over there. Why do my torches always stack weirdly? I never quite understand why that happens the way it does. Like, for some reason, if I have torches, if I have, like, two stacks of torches, it'll use one from one stack and then one from another stack instead of using, the, like, the stack with the least amount of torches. I've never quite understood why it does that. Apparently it does. So, oh well. Okay. Get a little bit of money, which I can't carry because I don't have enough space. <laughs> Still. Alright. Uh, 125 gold. I don't want to drop any of my other stuff just yet. Uh, no, I don't want to drop this other stuff just yet. Wow. Okay. Oh, two room. Okay, so one more fight in the next two rooms. That's not too bad. And let's see, who has... Well, none of them actually have very high stress. That's good. Okay, let's get my grave robber out here to do another trap disarm. Show him how it's done. Alrighty. Get that sack with nothing in it. That's yeah, fine. Don't need to worry too much about light right now. I will worry about the light when I get to the next fight. Okay. This uh, is actually, if I recall correctly, and this is from, again, this is from several years ago, this information, so I might be wrong, but I'm fairly certain that using a medicinal herb on this will actually increase damage output significantly. So, 
Well, let's give that to... Let's give it to the Highwayman. I think it's Medicinal Herbs. Okay. Let me see here. Yeah, plus 30% damage until camp. We're not camping. This is a small dungeon. So we're good. Okay. Let's get one more trap disarmed. There it is. Nice. Well done. And let's see, where are we light-wise? Okay, 90. I think there's a fight just coming up here, right? Oh, great. More spiders. And we didn't get the drop on him this time. Oh, come on. Why are you only targeting my grave robber? Please stop targeting my grave. Thank you. Okay, good. Dodge. Okay. Fine. We're cool. I mean, we're not. There we go. We're not cool because you're still trying to kill us. Oh, right. You were blighted. Let's do a toxin tricker and get rid of that blight. Seems like kind of a waste, I know. But hey, you know, whatever. It's already done. Uh, let's weaken you. I actually should have probably healed now that I think about it. Yeah, I really should have healed my high woman. Ugh. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Well, the blight's not good, but... Uh... What? Oh, I was had the wrong move. <laughs> had the wrong move selected. I was like, why can't I attack the front row with my knife? Oh, it's because I had the wrong move. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So toxin trickery only works once per battle now. Okay. You used to be able to just use it however many times you wanted if you were just like stalling for time or whatever. And I get an accuracy stone. I can give that to the leper. Oh my goodness! I can actually buff my lepers. You know, what? screw it. It's because I need to. I need to hold on to it, and I don't want to drop anything right now. I can actually buff my ac my leper's accuracy. This is a good day, and no scout. Okay, that's all right. It's okay. We've gotten a bunch of them in a row, so really, I can't complain that much about it. Who's blighted? Oh, right, my uh, occultist is blighted. I forgot about that. My bad. Sorry, dude. Is there just nothing here? Oh, there was nothing there. Okay. All right, go in there, do one more torch. And that's the end of the quest, but... Oh, see, there was another wall there. All right. I do want to see what that last curio is. So we're going to go ahead and go through here. It's kind of a waste, just to... This might not be all that. Eh, that's another sack. That's empty. Cool. All right, that's fine. We're going to get out of here. I could potentially walk all the way back to see what that other, that one last curio was, but I don't really feel like doing it. I wasn't really expecting this to be like a good money-making endeavor of a quest. I just wanted to get some more characters up to level one. That was the basic thing to do. And also to get more busts. We didn't get a lot of money. We got uh, 8,700 gold. It's not too bad. We did not get many trinkets or many heirlooms, though. I was hoping for some busts besides the two that we got here. But I can at least sell that Eldritch Killing Incense if I really want to. And we got three more characters at level one. So your Hellion gets Stressy Faster, very nice. We get uh, Night Blind, <laughs> okay. That's gonna have to, oh wait, no, Night Blind is fine. Sorry, I was thinking it was the other one. That's that's bad. Okay, so Off Guard, that needs to go. And Healer's Gift, plus 20% healing skills while camping. Okay, so I know what I'm gonna do, at least for a couple, at least for one person here. Okay, so since it was that was a relatively quick dungeon, we'll do a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, just clearing up of things, and then we will get to go after that. Okay, so we got the so she yep, so she's uh, got her stress recovered, bunch of stresses recovered, and okay, we got rid of his disease, got rid of those negative quirks. All right, so let's see. What do we have here in the stagecoach? We have a hound. We have two hound masters. Finally. Okay. I think this is the last class that I haven't gotten yet. Possibly, but I might also be completely wrong. <laughs> okay, first off, the fact that this hound master has a fear of beasts. Come on, man. Um, Fast and HUE is great. Winded, not so good. Fear of beasts. How, how master really you're gonna you're gonna do that to me okay what does this other one have oh he's no he doesn't have the same moves he has uh stitiomania Sit, oh sorry citiomania obsessed with food sounds like me apparently i'm citiomanic 
I'm not really obsessed, but you know what I mean. Uh, Gothic, okay, plus 25% healing. Eldritch Slayer, nice. Okay, neither of them had Target Whistle, which is their, their own marking ability, which is actually very helpful for the Houndmaster, because he doesn't do a whole lot of damage except to marked targets. But he does have Guard Dog. Oh, no. I was thinking of Lick Wounds, sorry. Okay, let's take this guy, because he seems to have slightly better moves and things. Uh, yeah, that's going to be enough of that. Okay, so where, who was I going to throw in there? Eomania, I wanted to get rid, oh, Fragile, I should really get rid of. That minus, minus 10% HP is real bad. I want to get rid of Nocturnal, that's what it was. But that off guard is terrible. Okay, let's throw you in here. Let's get rid of off guard first. Because, I mean, I know it's a one-turn thing. That's not terrible. But I wasn't... Yeah, I was okay. Fragile. Uh, Nocturnal, I think, is... They're both bad. But I think let's go... Let's get rid of... Um, let's get rid of Fragile first. Because at least Nocturnal on the Grave Robber is somewhat mitigated by her incredible speed stat. So we'll worry about that next time, I think. But for now, let's get rid of Fragile... Let's uh, beat some extra HP into him, and let's see. I have where are we on? So we have 18 busts, 20 portraits, 17 deeds, and 35 crests. I'm working towards getting. I'm working towards doing one of these blueprint things to get the. Uh, not that one. Uh, where is the one I was gonna get? I don't remember. Oop. Okay, that wasn't quite what I wanted to do. But so where was that one? Oh, there it was. The uh, the sanguine vintners. That's a disturbing thought. Uh, blood into wine, quite literally. Or maybe the other way around, I don't know. But anyway, so I need 80 busts to get that. I have 18. I know I should be upgrading the Hamlet, but that just seems like it's going to be an extremely important thing to get uh, later on. Oh, hey, I should really stress heal. Good. That guy's not in there. Cool, let's do that. Anyone else need stress healing right now? Let's see. Uh, Not particularly. Most people are not too bad off for stress. Okay. Let's see. What do we have in the Nomad Wagon? Uh, Lucky Talisman. Plus 12 dodge plus accuracy. That is an extremely good trinket, but is also extremely expensive. So I'm not going to go for that, unfortunately. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Let me look around at some quests. Let's see what is available. I still haven't been to the farmstead yet. Maybe I'll go there next time. Rot gut sensor, plus eight accuracy, plus minus five max HP. Eh. All right. We've got a medium quest with another accuracy, uh, steady bracer, sorry. And town event, silence in the, what? What is that? Can I see what it does? It doesn't tell me. All right. Cove, there's a medium quest in the cove. Eh. Book of Constitution, plus 30% to Blight and Disease Resist, minus one speed. That's not a bad trade-off, actually. Oh, we have a new boss available. Is it the one I think it is? Wait, that's the wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> uh, the, uh, yeah, Swine Prince. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. Ancestor's Vintage. Delayed Curse Craving. That seems like it's going to be really good. Okay. Okay, uh, Camper's Helmet, uh, Stress Heal Reduced, or Received, plus 10 Scouting Chance, okay, but still no busts, that's kind of what I'm looking for right now, that doesn't give me any busts, how about this one, that does give me three busts, and the Commander's Orders, plus any Stress Heal, mm, not a very good item though, I could sell it though, that is a medium dungeon, oh wait, that's, that is a veteran level dungeon, Never mind, not going there just yet. Okay. Do I want to risk another courtyard thing? Sturdy Greaves, plus 30 move resist, plus 30 move skill, minus one speed. Not great. Epic. That sounds bad. 15,000 gold, though. And Baron's Lash. Oh, it's a trophy. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Sorry, this is just throwing me off a lot. Okay, we're not going in there, no. Um, 
as much as I want to go for more busts, I don't know. Maybe I'll go for the farmstead next. I don't know. I've never been there, so maybe we'll go for some experimentation. See what the hell's over there. But uh, for now, I think... Uh, let's see. What do we get out of this one? Book of Constitution. There's the boss battle. What was this one again? All right, Steady Bracer. Two portraits. Uh, three portraits. I can't read that. It's some amount of portraits. Medium dungeon. Get that camper thing. I don't even think I have a bounty hunter on this team, do I? I think my bounty hunter got killed a while ago. Okay. Since none of these seem to be... Oh no, that, that Ancestor's Vintage is very tempting. But it's the Swine Prince. Oh, okay. I don't know. I'll think about it. I have a feeling we might try the Farmstead out, just because I've never been there and I don't know what to expect. Um, the, the Trinket's okay. Money's okay, but not really a lot else out of that. Okay, I think that's the plan for now. But that will have to wait until next time because it's the end of the episode. So thank you all for watching. I will talk to you all next time.